Jake. Thank, thank, thank you, you, Jake. Um, I've got a question about Chinese lab safety and then a China-Ukraine question for you. On uh, Chinese lab safety, there was a scientific uh, study preprint last month that went viral that's reignited concerns about Chinese uh, uh, scientific research. Um, after the coronavirus, of course, killed more than a million Americans after potentially leaking from a Wuhan lab. And in this study, uh, humanized mice were injected with the coronavirus variant, and the variant killed 100% of them, uh, which scares people, of course, because, uh, I mean, that's all of them. Um, there are a lot of unknowns about this, but there are prominent scientists who are saying this research is reckless. So I was wondering if you could say if the U.S. government is uh, following this study, and if there, there's anything broader you could say about concerns about Chinese lab safety. So we've documented in the past over many years concerns about biosafety, biosecurity practices of a number of countries, China being one of them. That's something we continue to be vigilant about because biosafety and biosecurity, particularly of hazardous biosubstances anywhere in the world, can ultimately come back and harm Americans. So it remains a significant focus of multiple agencies of the U.S. government, and we'll keep working on that. Yeah. Um, there, uh, there are a couple of significant developments recently in investigations into the President's role in his family's foreign business dealings that bear on current uh, political debates, and I was hoping that you could help Americans digest these bits of information um, on China. There was a recent re revelation from uh, impeachment inquiry testimony that the president in 2017 met with the chairman of CEFC China Energy at the Four Seasons Hotel not far from here. Uh, Yi Jianming has since gone missing in China amid corruption allegations. How, does, how, do, how should people think about that amid U.S.-China tensions and the president's um, uh, potential exposure here? And in Ukraine, according to laptop records and a former business partner, uh, the mayor of Kiev, Vitaly Klitschko, was involved with a Brisma subsidiary that was chaired by the First Son. Um, how should Americans think about that amid the Ukraine foreign aid debate? I got nothing for you on that. Thank you, yep. thank you Dan. Uh, 